2 Corinthians 5, verses 14 and 15. For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. And if he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. The cross resembles many things, death to life, darkness to light, debt to grace, hate to love, and hurt to hope. So if Jesus died for all, that means life for all, hope for all, grace for all, love for all, life for all. When Paul wrote all, did he really mean all? In the context of the entire gospel, the answer is yes. Jesus came to this earth and died for all, was raised for all, and his love stretches to all. And if the gospel is for all, if Jesus died for all, then our mission is to be a church for all. So church for all means all. The broken and the whole. The family for you and for me. The doubtful and the faithful. The isolated and the forgotten. The anxious and the ostracized. The qualified and the unqualified. The dreamers and the deceivers, the sick and the well, the church and the unchurched, the skeptic, the cynic, and the optimist, the youngest child to the oldest adult, the outcast, the up and up, and the down and out. The list goes on, but all means all.